Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Kritika and I make videos related to food, beauty and lifestyle. So if any of that interests you, then please consider subscribing to my channel. And after a very, very, very long time, which I believe feels like ages, I am back with another food product review. Yes, guys, I've missed this so, so, so much. I had gathered few products for you, but I have been waiting for the time when I could actually review it for you. I was planning to do it, but it was just not happening due to some reason or the other. But here I am back with my food product reviews, which I love so much. And also you guys love it so much. And yeah, I have a new product for you. And by the title of the video, you know already, I am talking about the Unibase snappers yes guys so they look something like this and i have the family pack yes guys so i went for grocery shopping and i found these i found them to be pretty unique so i got my hands on them and they were only available in family pack size so i had to get them in that way they do have smaller packings in this i will definitely let you know all of the prices and links and other details in the description box below if you want to know everything about this unibix snappers then please keep on watching this video till the end so unibix snappers look something like this these are potato crackers and yes potato crackers have been top of the market for some reason ever since sunfeast also launched a potato cracker and we already have pran biscuits with us uh, we have a lot of launches happening around potato biscuits themselves and this is pretty interesting i have been seeing so many potato crackers and biscuits launches from so many different brands by the way i've reviewed the sunfeast potato crackers already if you haven't checked out that review you can watch that video over here also while we're at it you can also check out my comparison review for pran biscuits versus the sunfeast biscuits and their differences and similarities and everything that you need to know i would leave a link for that video as well in the description box below and coming back to the unibit one i was super excited for this because i do enjoy a lot of biscuits from unibit and while i told you that a lot of brands are coming up with the potato crackers concept i found unibit interesting because it has three flavors in that category and i have all of those three flavors for you so i'll quickly show you which one they are the first one that i have with me is the achari mango variant second flavor that we have is the cream and onion variant i am hoping or guessing that this one would be my favorite favorite variant it looks something like this and the last variant that we have with us is the indie spice variant it looks something like this so yep these are the three flavors all of the three flavors look pretty promising and i am looking forward to trying them and checking out which one is my favorite if any or if you should really try this one or you can just give these biscuits a pass i'll be telling you everything so watch this video till the end so let's just get started with all of the details about this product so like i mentioned this one is from unibake this family pack retails for rupees 150 and has 300 grams of product in it it has four different packets available in it so that's pretty good and obviously each packet has more number of biscuits inside of it that we will see how much how many biscuits are there in total apart from that this one is pure vegetarian they say it has 0% cholesterol and it is also trans fat free which is a good thing you can get your hands on this one from amazon flipkart big basket and other websites online i would mention all of the links in the description box below that i can find so you can check it out and also i got my hands on these biscuits from the offline market uh, from dmart so you can try and find these biscuits 
biscuits in the mega marts i'm not sure if they'll be available on the normal grocery stores but since it's unibic you can try finding it i think it should be easily available by now this one has a good shelf life of one year and yes guys after ironing out all of these details let's get started i cannot wait to try these potato crackers for you guys so yep let me just open them okay so we're starting by opening the indie spice variant and please wish me luck because i have really high hopes for these crackers oh i just don't know why but it is something really new for the indian market and i want it to work so yeah fingers crossed and i have the first packet here with me okay so the inner packaging of the biscuit looks something like this it is a complete golden packaging there is no details and no information whatsoever on the inner packaging so you might not want to you know throw the outer packaging or keep it inside of that if you are trying different flavors because you cannot get any information on this packaging but yeah this is how it look and let me just open this also like i mentioned you get four of such packaging inside one family pack so yeah that's that and let me just open this one now okay so i've opened the inner packaging and this is how it looks it has a tray like structure in it and this is how the biscuits are stacked in two parts okay so you get 30 biscuits in one pack so you get one packet for somewhere roughly about 35 rupees so yeah this is a decent price and this smells good i smell a lot of spices i cannot wait to try it so yeah let me just try this one it looks like this okay I'll give you a closer look. It looks like this. It definitely has some spices going on on it if you can see. And yeah, let me just try this now. So guys, talking about the indie spice variant of the Unibix snappers, I'll tell you the taste and everything. Firstly, they are super crunchy. they are definitely thin in size not as thin as potato chips and everything but still considerably they were very thin they are ideal for the potato crackers thing that they have been defined by and now moving on to the taste of these crackers the base taste of the crackers is sweet and it has some masala going on on it it definitely has indie spices all over it but it is not too spicy so it is great for you know the normal palate like it's not too spicy and it's not too fika it is balanced it is flavorful i really like it and i think i can see myself munching on to it a few times here and there and it's not a bad product at all like taste wise i really 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 liked it but if you are someone who's expecting it to be extra spicy or something very masaledar then you are wrong over there and if you want to eat something like that then this product is not for you it is pretty balanced has lot of flavors going on and is not very spicy which i am kind of happy about because i do not like a lot of spicy food so now let's just move on to the next flavor and our next flavor is the cream and onion variant like i mentioned i am hoping thinking that this might be my favorite flavor because i am you know slightly drawn towards creamy and oniony flavors even in lays i like the cream and onion variant the most so yeah fingers crossed for this one and let me just open this and shorty okay so we've opened it and isme se bhi you get a similar package like you got in the first one even in this you get four of these packets so yeah they are pretty much all the same and let me just open this one and we'll start with the tasting okay so i have my biscuits with me and they look slightly different from the first one so it looks something like this and if you can see it has some green flakes on it going on which we presents cream and onion i believe let me just taste this it smells like cream and onion but not a lot let's taste this one so 
guys, talking about the review for this cream and onion flavor. Um, it tastes exactly like Lay's. Like it is very, very, very similar to Lay's. Apart from the fact that जो Lay's में chips होती है, it is not as sweet as this one. So जैसा कि I told you in the previous uh, review as well. that the base taste of the potato crackers is slightly on the sweeter end and hence jo ye wala potato cracker tha isme bhi it tasted very 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 sweet not very sweet like gulab jamun sweet obviously not but slightly more sweeter for a savory cracker but yeah it did have creamy flavor going on and it tasted pretty much like lays cream and onion except for the extra tinge of sweetness so if you are someone who likes that kind of flavor then this one is for you this is great for children because i think uh, you know toddlers who do not like spicy food or any masalas if you do not want to give them then maybe you can give them this one and this would suit their taste palette really well and let's try this flavor now this is the achari mango flavor I have high hopes from this as well because these two have been really on the milder side till now so I want to see if this one is the ideal you know indian palate thing where it is super masaledar or achari or something so yeah let me just open this and then we we'll taste this and then I'll share my review with you okay so we opened this package but I'll show you something So as soon as I opened it, I saw that this package was open from here. This is one thing that I do not like about Unibake. Uh, I have seen a lot of inconsistency in their products, and this thing is not acceptable. And though I really like the taste of Unibake biscuits, this is one of the reason why I do not like it. I have been seeing a lot of inconsistencies in their taste and their packaging now. So yeah though it was inside the family pack but this should not be the case they should be more careful while the packing and yeah this is not something which is acceptable to me but nonetheless let me just open this packet and we will taste how the achari mango flavor tastes okay so it looks something like this very similar to the previous biscuits and another inconsistency in this we have a half biscuit in the center but uh, nonetheless it smells a lot like achar it smells so 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 much like achar that my mouth is just watering and yeah as soon as i opened it it was like achar and mathri so cannot wait to try this one and let me just okay i broke let me just taste this So talking about this flavor, it smelled very much like achar, like I mentioned already. It also tasted like achar, but it was very mild again. So the base flavor of potato crackers was sweet, and hence the achari flavor was not too much. It was very on the subtle and mild and balanced, if I can say so. and yeah it definitely had some tanginess a very little amount of tanginess and spiciness going on which added a punch to this whole you know achari mango potato cracker but i expected it to be slightly higher to give you know exact tadka flavor and bilkul indian achar wala flavor but it is not that it is potato cracker in that flavor hence i think they balanced it out pretty well so guys that was my tasting for all of the flavors i gave you my you know detailed verdict on how each and every flavor tasted talking about my favorite flavor i don't think i can choose one because all of them were pretty unique and i really really liked them these potato crackers were crispy they were all on the sweeter end all of them were flavorful but their flavors were very mild and very balanced so if you are a chataka you know masaledar person these crackers are not for you but if you are someone who likes to enjoy potato crackers which are not very too masaledar but balanced 
and if you're bored of the original potato crackers and want to try different flavors in it then this product is for you i think i'm going to give these potato crackers a 3.5 rating yes guys taste wise they deserve it but i really 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 want you know to work on the consistency and also on this packaging issue it is not acceptable and it should not be the case with anyone for that matter but yes that's it for my today's video do let me know how did you like today's video give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already i will see you in the next one till then bye